Coming up on Hands on iOS, I don't know about you, but I've been having trouble sleeping. It is stressful, it is not fun to have to wake up a bunch of times in the middle of the night, and so I thought, let's focus on something that you can do to improve your sleep right on your iOS device. Stay tuned. Hands on iOS is brought to you from Twit's LastPass Studios. You're focused on security, but are your employees? Well, LastPass can ensure that they are by making access and authentication seamless, whether they're working in the office or remote. Visit lastpass.com slash twit to learn more. This is Twit. This episode of Hands on iOS is brought to you by IT Pro TV. Visit itpro.tv slash twit for an additional 30% off for the lifetime of your active consumer subscription and use code twit30 at checkout. So for quite some time, Apple has had a feature within iOS and frankly in macOS too, that lets you make an adjustment to your phone's screen that can potentially help you sleep better. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about the science. So one of the things that you need to understand about the reason why we talk about blue light is because of blue light and its connection to that big old star in the sky, our sun. The sun produces multiple types of light waves, but we have come to believe that it is the blue, the short, high energy waves that are actually the, the cause of our desire to be awake and active during the day and our desire to be asleep and non-active at night. And around about the time when artificial light was invented, it came around and said, hey, you know what? Now you don't know when it's the day or when it's the night. Well, that started to mess up our circadian rhythms. And we are still in the midst of dealing with that blowback even years and years later. That's because in the grand scheme of things, we're living in much shorter period now since the introduction of artificial light than we did before the introduction of artificial light. So what can we do to, to help this issue? Well, it's important to understand a certain structure in the brain called the suprachiasmatic nuclei. So the suprachiasmatic nuclei, it's this little region of the brain that's part of the hypothalamus. And it's, it's really cool because it is the structure that is connected directly to our ocular nerve. Whereas other parts of our brain kind of can receive signals through filtering uh, from what's going on in our outside world, there is literally a direct connection between what your eye sees and what the suprachiasmatic nuclei sees inside of your brain. Meaning that it is a really light sensitive device. You can almost think of it as the little ambient light sensor in your iPhone or iPad or other device. And it uses that information to determine when it should start, when your body should start spitting out melatonin and starting the circadian rhythm and uh, certain cycles within your body. So if you affect the suprachiasmatic nuclei by pushing blue light into it, even whenever you are trying to wind down, then of course it's going to cause an issue with your sleep. You're not going to produce as much melatonin. It's why the melatonin industry is huge right now because artificial light is affecting our body's ability to produce melatonin. So over time, different tech companies have come to understand this. There are plenty of studies out there that you can check out, including some that suggest that our eyeballs may over time be damaged by blue light. And in some cases, there's a connection between uh, the growth of tumors in our eyes and the fact that we are blasting our eyes with such high energy shortwave blue light. So super big deal and something that we should be aware of. And there's a simple change you can make on your iOS device to help you with this, help you get better sleep, help you protect your eyes, and hopefully, overall, reduce the amount of blue light blasting you're doing to that suprachiasmatic nuclei and your retina. So let's take a look. 
This episode of Hands on iOS is brought to you by IT Pro TV. If you're interested in an IT career but aren't sure which one is right for you, IT Pro TV can help. Sign up for a premium membership and let an expert guide you. With over 4,000 hours of IT training, you can get the certifications you need to be successful. Go to itpro.tv slash twit and use code twit30 for an additional 30% off for the lifetime of your active consumer subscription. That's itpro.tv slash twit and use code twit30. IT Pro TV. Build or expand your IT career and enjoy the journey. All right. On your phone, it's a very simple thing. We are going to hop into settings. We are going to go down to display and brightness. And we are going to move down to a feature called Night Shift. Night Shift is the feature that Apple uses to adjust the colors of the display to take some blue out of the screen. So when I tap on night shift, you'll see that a little bit of information pops up and it says night shift automatically shifts the color of your display to the warmer end of the color spectrum after dark. This may help you get a better night's sleep. Now you notice that they say may, that is because it is simply in the research phase. There's nothing that is entirely and completely proven, but we have uh, we, as a, as a species, have come to recognize a connection between better rest and less blue light. So it may help you get a better night's sleep. And you can set this up exactly how you want to. Uh, you can choose how warm you want the blue light to be, meaning how much or warm your screen should be, meaning how much blue light is being taken out of the display. And you can make it less warm or more warm, meaning that more blue light is there and less blue light is there. I've noticed that it, it starts to turn on gradually, which is a brilliant little feature uh, as part of this. And because it turns on gradually, I've noticed that I don't notice it <laughs> at all when it comes on. So it starts to change and my eyes simply adjust to the fact that blue light has been taken out of the screen and I don't really notice a difference. So I currently have mine set up to be scheduled, but you can turn off scheduled and you can choose to manually enable it until tomorrow. Now, this, of course, is not going to show on screen, but my actual physical screen right now is rather orange. And that is because blue is on one side of the color spectrum and yellow is on the other. So as you pull out the blue, it starts to get more yellow. So what I'm going to do is turn off manually enable until tomorrow, meaning that it's going to remain this uh, warm temperature until the, the next day, until the sun rises again, and then it will shut off. So I'll choose to turn that off, and I'm going to turn on scheduled. Now, you have an option here. You don't have to do it from sunset to sunrise. I choose from, and then I can choose either sunset to sunrise, which I recommend. I think that's the best way, because the sun starts to go down relatively early in comparison to when a lot of people go to bed. And that gives you plenty of time to sort of wind down from the blue light of the day. So you can choose sunset to sunrise, which is what I do, or a custom schedule if you do go to bed earlier or if you go to bed much later and you, for some reason, need that blue light after dark. Uh, that's an important thing to consider as well, that you may need to have blue light at night if you are, for example, doing photo editing or video editing or anything that involves color on the screen. Uh, you are going to want to make sure that that night shift doesn't affect that. I'll choose sunset to sunrise. And what that means is that when the sun sets, uh, night shift starts to turn on. And when the sun rises, night shift starts to turn off. Because if the sun's already blasting me with blue light, then it's not an issue if my phone is also doing that. Uh, and then, as I mentioned, color temperature. I can adjust this slider. And as you adjust, you'll notice that the screen uh, reacts to the orangeness or blueness, depending on how you have it set up. And I like mine pretty far over to the more warm area, but you don't have to make that adjustment. And I may ask our editor, uh, John Ashley, to overlay uh, a nice orange filter just so you can kind of get an idea of what this looks like. And so I will make that adjustment and leave it. And then I can go back and uh, close out of that. And right now my screen is fine and dandy, <laughs> bright as bright as the day and uh, nice and cold in terms of the color temperature, because currently the sun is up. 
But as the sun starts to go down today, then my screen will warm up. Uh, that, of course, the, the way that it uses that is by knowing where you are uh, using your location information and things like that to uh, properly determine what the sunset is in your given region and then using that information to start to make a change. Again, a, simp a simple, simple, simple feature to activate, but it does help you, uh, based on the studies that we have seen, uh, start to produce melatonin and cut back on the production of uh, certain hormones that sort of are excitable during the day and also cut back on the histamines that are in your body as well, uh, or rather histamines in your brain, because histamines in the brain are one of uh, the major ways that your brain remains awake during the day. So a little bit of sleep science, a little bit of tech, it's kind of my brand, but I do appreciate you checking out this episode. Uh, very important topic. Sleep is so incredibly important, and I hope that you all out there are getting a good night's sleep, and I also hope you're subscribed to the show. You, of course, can head to twit.tv slash HOI, which will give you links to all the ways to subscribe to the show, as well as youtube.com slash hands on iOS. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, ring the bell, do the this, do the that. We do appreciate it. And uh, if you have questions or you have potential topic ideas or anything like that, you can email those hands on iOS at twit.tv. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next week. Be sure to check out the other shows on the network, like my other show, Hands On Wellness. I love to share different tips and tricks that's going to help you get a better grasp on your personal wellness. Just go to twit.tv slash how and subscribe now.